was watching Pete's video about this uh, great looking Carmen gear and he was talking that uh, VW Steve had built his own uh, soda blast. So I thought, oh, I've got this, uh, got this old engine case that I wouldn't mind uh, cleaning up just as a test. Um, believe it or not, I actually tried sugar before this and <laughs> it didn't work. So uh, I'll take you over and show you what the, it consists of. Okay, so here's the basic ingredients for us to build a uh, real cheap soda blaster, baking soda, two bucks for a kilogram, uh, knife, tape measure, I've got about one meter of uh, 10 mil PVC tubing, I've got a pencil but any piece of wood that's straight or metal would work, masking tape, and this is an $11 uh, four inch nozzle air blower, uh, four inch, four mil. Uh, and yeah, so let's work out how we uh, put it together. Okay, so we get our tubing. We want about uh, 80 mil or just over two feet worth of this tubing. Cut that up. Okay, so here's our 80 mil tubing done. Seventy odd mil down, about two inches, one to two inches on there. We actually want to, because we're gonna put this on there, you see. So we want to just make a small incision. Just big enough so it can actually get through. So there we have it, so the wind should the air should come out of there like that. Just not the ladder. Anyway, uh, that should that should be So just take that so it doesn't uh, move it out. Just tape. Here we got it nice and taped up. You might also tape it just here so it's a nice little handle. You realize this is a a waste of good masking tape, but anyway. It's most sure it costs more than the whole gun. Just that. Now down here what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get I'm just going to tape this uh, pencil on here like this and what this will do is it will allow me to put it in here and it won't sort of curve up and so forth. Just do that. Really, that's it done. Uh, what I'll do is I'll open this up, stick this in there, connect it up to the uh, air supply and I'll film it working, if it works. So here's our 1950s V-Dub uh, motor. See it's a little bit dirty. And here is our new, brand new, snazzy soda uh, blaster. Oh, okay, let's go. Okay, so here we go. So, okay, here's a problem. Should really have done it somewhere a lot easier to clean up. But that's the aftermath of pretty much half a box. Um, I'm quite sure I'm going to show you covered in it. I know, should have worn goggles and a mask because all I can taste now is baking soda. That's alright. But, how did it come out? I would say. It's hard to see, but that's actually metal. That's actually the magnesium case instead of that. Um, so I thought it's, it does work. It works really well, actually. Um, problem is that it's hard to see on this. What I did is I pulled out my uh, 1600 Beatles manifold. <laughs> and what I'll do is I'll just give this a quick um, spray over. And um, we'll see how that comes up. Okay. So this is after about five minutes. I actually ran out of baking bicarbonate soda. As you can clearly see here where it's um, well and truly got the gunk off. And if you compare it to here, which is just at the same time, also uh, spread it on the carb. It's almost brand 
me looking compared to what this looks like right there. So, it is a success I'd say. Um, a few modifications that I'd like to uh, do on it. Um, first thing I tried, I actually tried a hole in the bottom of the bicarb box, so it's a pencil thing, while it worked, it didn't work very well. But that hole seemed to give me a lot more steady feed. Uh, something else that I suppose I should have put on but I didn't, I didn't think about it, was a water trap that stops the water from the uh, from the compressor coming out the nozzle. So I was having that because the uh, water was actually gunking up the soda that I was spraying on. So every so often I'd have to stop and whack it a few times to get the clumped um, bicarbonate soda out. Apart from that, I think it's it's got promise. Um, a few problems like it's not really long enough, not really long enough to get it to get the box far enough away to allow you to do stuff. Um, but hopefully, I'll be able to fix that somehow. I'm not sure how yet. Um, if anyone has any uh, suggestions, feel free to let me know. Obviously. <laughs> beyond go buy a proper sandblasting kit. Um, but I mean for the thirteen, fifteen dollars it's actually cost it does a really good job. So I might go out and see if I'm gonna find some bulk bicarbonate solder to play it with. It might make life a lot easier. Anyway I'll uh, take leave you be and you can give it a go yourself.